20 performances premiered at the 9th GoGo Fest in 2016. The cast of volunteer actors chose children as their target audience this year. While Diana Ashi and Oleksiy Dorachevsky prepared Harm's tragic comedy, a Spanish choreography and some Ukrainian dancers enjoyed Baudelaire's poetry. The climax of the festival was the outrageous freak cabaret Dark Daughters with their Babylon Babe circus performance. I'm happy that everything that's been happening here has been great. It's wonderful that modern Ukrainian art is alive and entering the international arena. And of course, I'm very grateful to Vlad Troyevsky for everything he's doing in Ukraine. According to Mr. Palatna, the curator of the drama portion of Gogol Fest, theater may have finally overshadowed music. The increased number of Ukrainian participants meant for once that Ukrainian written performances would make up the backbone of the drama section. It's not a question of quantity, but of quality. I think that each festival has its specific features. The world changes. So the same performance, which, for example, even the same play, which is put on in its seventh year, will be a different performance, have a different perception in its 16th year. For this reason, we're not pressured to add anything. Stilling the stage was the play, There Will Be No Pictures, based on Danielle Harm's novel. Ukrainian stage director Diana Ashe turned it into a musical performance, combining classical music and operatic singing with acting. Ashe succeeded in drawing parallels between the death of the author Harms in one of Tsalin's prisons and current world events. <laughs> Critics earlier had an opportunity to evaluate the work of this young Ukrainian stage director. As one, they said it was the centerpiece of Gogolfest. Even when you considered the work of more experienced directors from the U.S., Israel, Poland, and the Baltic <laughs> states. I highly appreciate Gogol Fest. It seems to me that it's an important part of Ukrainian culture. And the most important thing for me is that it's a local process, living art, that reflects the culture of what's really going on in this country. The European Theatre Convention and the Doc Center for Contemporary Art came together to host master classes in a kind of residency program. Over several weeks, 10 young European stage directors worked with Ukrainian actors and artists. One project born from these collaborations was the Spanish choreographer Chevy Murade's emotional dance performance, Between Us, based on the poetry of Charles Boldler. The choreographer came up with the idea to stage a performance based on Baudelaire's poetry. It tells about our lust for life, for each other, and for our dreams, what we're looking for in life, how we spend our time, and what it all means for us. And because of this, the spectators are so close, we are so close to them, this is a significant and very powerful experience for us. Chevy Murade is a world-renowned Spanish choreographer. It is not surprising that the Kyiv Totem Dance Group completely trusted his dramatic vision. It was not easy to translate Boulder's poetry into figurative art. In the choreographer's opinion, this story is quite straightforward and clear. I'm convinced that every spectator will find something to his or her taste. We just tell stories about our dreams, about what we're involved in. We open our hearts to the audience. None of us knows how it will be received by the audience. It depends on the individual.
As part of Gogol Fest, adult actors from Hassan Theater performed together with children. Playwrights Yuri Sushko and Natalia Bloch weren't sure what to expect. You don't need to explain it to them. It's in their nature, until a certain age. Actually, they're difficult to write for. I find it easier to write plays for grown-ups. But now they both know exactly what kind of performances children like and how they need to write. We aren't only doing play rehearsals. We're all involved in an experiment. I like that the audience sits in and listens, that they enter the conversation and ask profound questions. As a result, our experiment creates performances, not some rehearsed product. Peace Corps volunteer Marissa Furry came to Ukraine from the United States. Her experience working in Transcarpathia impressed her so much that she wrote a play about it. Novice actors recited her play in both Ukrainian and English. Children will have no trouble understanding because it is about them, about their land, their country. Okay. Declared in an earthly voice, I'm no more Maria. Прокувала ніжно на прощання і тоді відлетіла до лісу. Her play is closely connected to the legends of Transcarpathia as she understands the history of our land and her retelling of the stories she heard from the people there so she could try to understand the secrets of the local legends. The workshop tested a new dramatic approach for children, emotional discussions and idea sharing, and the results were beyond encouraging. If plays were enjoyed doing rehearsals, then they could easily be turned into successful theatrical performances. One of the most anticipated events of Gogol Fest was the Doc Daughters show Babylon Babes. It was the third premiere by Gogol Fest director Troitsky at the festival. The show combines music, theater, and classical cabaret. I have three new productions. This new show with Doc Daughters is a circus cabaret. Basically, it's a warm-up before our December 16th premiere in Paris. Ukrainian and French circus actors will be involved in that program. For now, Ukrainian audiences are enjoying the incredible Doc Daughters spectacle. This project was developed primarily for Ukrainian viewers. Trapeze artist type rope walkers and video jockeys were involved in the show, which takes place on a complex mechanical stage made of eight concentric rotating circles. In the story, while men are creating the Tower of Babel, women are predicting that all of this will be temporary. With this reasoning, the women pack their children's things to be ready to leave. After the towers collapsed, the women were already prepared and knew how to save the situation. We all will face the apocalypse together, and perhaps in space it will shatter. The Doc Daughters Art Project was created in 2012 by Troyetsky and actresses from the Doc Theater. It has already won over audiences in Europe. The group toured France and Poland and played in the Gogol Center in Moscow, one of the few Russian institutions that supports Ukraine. We are rarely seen as Ukrainian women. They welcome us the same everywhere. We appeal to the people, to the universal things, which are understandable in any country in Europe. Doc Daughters actresses often recite poetry by Shakespeare, Brodsky, Ukrainian futurists, Shevchenko, and by old Hutzel women. They also compose their own work using musical fragments from old hits. Vlad Troitsky works together with us as a composer. He never gives us any praise, and we always try to improve our work, leave the praise for the audience, he says. 
всегда делаем работу над ошибками. We always have to do our best. This requires a lot of effort, but we enjoy participating in Google Fest. And there's always something new and exciting. Ruslana Hasipova considers their cabaret intellectual art. For 13 years, the women have been following their leader's rule, to think with the heart and love with the mind. Our band remains unchanged. All of the members are women. On November 21st, our team will turn four years old. We have seven women and one man, Vlad Troitsky. It's our collective art, and he is our shepherd, guru, director, and father. Although the eccentric actresses claim that their performance may be perceived just on the emotional level, their leader, Troitsky, doesn't exclude the intellectual component. You're a free person, and it's the story of freedom. Freedom is not anarchy and not irresponsible chatter, but boldness to act. If we act, then life is beautiful. Every year at the end of August, we prepare something new, especially for Gogol Fest. And every year, Vlad designs a new concept for the festival. This year, the concept is Babylon, and Doc Daughters are a part of Babylon. Feeling the rhythm of the time and accumulating their own energy, Doc Daughters combine traditional free cabaret with Ukrainian folklore. Their performances are a musical mix with no limits. According to them, they have the freest style, almost like children. Their collective joy for creativity unites them in Babylon Babes. Life is so amazing, you have to watch it carefully. It's so rich and never ceases to surprise you. We've been together for 13 years. We grew up together, and we're always learning. It's been an amazing journey. We have a long history. We acted in theater together, and we understood what instruments each of us could play. We worked together for 10 years before founding Doc Daughters. This amazing cultural phenomena has won the hearts of Ukrainian audiences from east to west. Critics give the Doc Daughters show rave reviews. Their joint performance with new circus artists at Gogol Fest caused even more enthusiastic feedback. Incredible aesthetics and unexpected performance, as always. The entirety of this new Ukrainian phenomenon was here today. It was unexpected to see Doc Daughters as glamorous provocators. This is something new. I definitely like the strange aesthetics, but this is what the provocativeness of Vlad Troitsky is about. It was great. This is a prime example of a way of thinking which is sometimes eclectic, but is a synthesis of the contemporary thinking of young viewers. Use of melody, sometimes authentic Ukrainian music, grotesque clothing, grotesque shapes and presentations, banter about certain things. At the same time, very romantic and emotional things were shown in the circus acts. Gogol Fest has proved once again that Ukrainian modern art is developing and giving the world an infinite variety of talents and a wealth of human imagination.